Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So you can see this canvas is looking like a crazy hot mess. It's Snow White, the Sugar Skull. I don't have her right here, but she's gorgeous. This is the last part that I'm recording, so I'm sure by now you've seen the, um, the assembly tutorials and all the pictures. You can always catch that on my website. So if you go to theuselesscrafter.com, um, the blog has all the projects um with all the material links and all the links to the t youtube tutorials it's just the place to go to but anyway i absolutely love this project let me show you a couple of things um this is louise from cuts crafts and more and that's where i got the file from she is still uploading it and trying to get it make it available to you guys but this is where i got the svg file so let me show you how to do it. And this would be for any file really, because you're gonna um, you're gonna see as you go through like all my different tutorials that you start to see the same kind of files, right? Some will have no background, and so we gotta make an outline or a full back um, outline, um, or some we're gonna have to slice up quite a bit. So I just wanted to show you what this looks like, and then we're gonna start clean because this is such a hot mess, okay? Um, all right, so let's go to new canvas and let's upload our file. So we're going to go to upload. I already have it in here. So here she is and you can see some of my projects that are coming up. <laughs> all right, I'm going to add that to the canvas. Now, Snow White has always been one of my favorite princesses. Um, she looks great in person. She photos really well, just the color combination. The only problem with Snow White is it's really just her face, right? She doesn't come with a lot of pieces, so it's really hard to make her big. So as you saw, possibly, maybe you caught it, I did her at 23 inches, and then I added a banner to add a little bit more height to the whole thing. Um, 23 inches will allow us to cut the face um, to make it seamless. So it's important to me that out of all the pieces that you can do for your off the mat characters, that the face, the actual skin color portion does not have any slices in it because your eyes will get drawn to it. And to me, it takes away from it. So I would prefer to go smaller um, and not have seams than to go really big and have the seams because I feel like the seams are so distracting that the size is no longer a cool thing. So, <laughs> all right, let's do this. Height, 23 inches, okay? And then I'm gonna show you what we see from the side and kind of what to look for. So let's make this a little bit smaller over here. So I'm gonna go down to, well, 50% looks good for now. Okay, let's look at the right-hand side panel to see what we're dealing with. First of all, I don't see a solid background, right? The cool thing about this, it's cool and it's not cool. Um, the outline for the hair, I ended up doing this silver, um, it's like a glitter paper, but it's chunky glitter, so it's different than what you can find normally. It was so pretty, it's 24 by 12, it's 12 by 24 inches, so the cardstock is like the long ones. Um, I did buy it at Joann's. It was in the open cardstock section. And I think it's $5 a sheet, but in the open cardstock section of Joann's, occasionally they will have a 40 to 70% off sale, and that's when I stock up on my 12 by 24 cardstock. I normally, for my, for my big characters, I normally stick with 12 by 12 cardstock because that's what everyone has on hand more readily. Um, but on this one, when I saw the, the outline, I really wanted to use it. So I am using for this project, I did end up using 12 by 24 cardstock quite a bit. All right, with that being said, let's look at what else. So we don't have a solid background. So what I did was, I know I wanna do it at 20, three inches. Oops, what's going on here? Okay, so I'm just going to duplicate this whole thing. We don't need, so you can see there's no black background, right? Because she has an out, um, a silver outline up here or like a 
bluish purple, and then a brown outline down here. So technically no black is gonna be showing. So when we weld this, it's gonna give us a solid black background. I do recommend cutting it in, um, in black cardstock because you see she does have black in here. So what will happen is when things don't line up perfectly, um, it will be the black that shows through and it won't be distracting. Now, see what I mean? So when we welded everything, we should have gotten a full black background, right? But there are little openings here and there. So it's that's why it's important to do this one in black, okay? Let's go to contour and hide everything. When we hide everything, it's gonna give us a solid background. So all those little cutouts, oh, what happened here? Oops, let me go back to contour. Um, hmm, hide all should leave us with this piece. Okay, here we go. There. <laughs> so this we want in black, okay? So I'm just gonna change it to black. Now, technically, none of this should be showing, right? Because everything's gonna fall above it and cover the whole thing. So what's nice about having a background like this is just so that you can easily transport things and tape things down. If everything fit perfectly into each other, you're gonna have to tape the back. It's gonna make it difficult. Here, you can tape the back of the piece that you're putting down and then put it down and it no longer slides, right? So this is why it, this will make life easier. So I'm gonna move this out of the way for now. We know we have this black background, okay? Let me make this 25%. Okay, so I'm gonna move that. Okay, let's look at this. And let's bring in a banner. So I have a banner that says, um, the fairest of them all, right? Um, so let's go and look at images. You can pick any banner. I'll show you the one. Hopefully I can find the one I used. Okay, so this banner is great. You can either do a quote from the movie um, or you could do, you know, if this is for a birthday party, you can do Anne age five or you know happy birthday whatever it is that you want so there's a couple different banners that you can use i don't remember which one i used um maybe i maybe i used this one i don't remember but you can choose your banner it doesn't matter okay and the banner i didn't weld it to the piece because i had it kind of sticking out and then at the end, I had it all on a foam board. So this has, you know, like an outline to it, so it's perfect. We're going to do this. And I ended up using, like I said, I used the, um, the same border as this silver here. So I wanted to make sure that this piece was no longer than 23.5 inches so that it can cut on that big piece that I wanted. And this is perfect. This is 23 inches right here. So we can leave that. We can change the color now to match so that you know um, it's this color. And then the pink I ended up doing in red. So it looked really pretty. Okay, so that's what we have. All right, so let's start looking at these pieces. So we know this is going to be fine. Um, let's start ungrouping this. Now, the only thing was um, I didn't do too much to this. So the yellow um, little dots above the eyes, I ended up slicing those out. So I these are yellow circles so what i would do is i would grab the yellow circles over here and let me move my face over just a little bit okay the yellow circles here and then i went to the blue piece where is the blue piece of her eyes here it is so hit shift and grab this one okay so you can see these two things are selected i'm going to slice it out so i don't want the yellow piece at all I just want the holes in the blue so that I can put, you know, my little um, gems, rhinestones in there. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, so since we sliced it out, we can get rid of the slice results. So here's slice results, delete. 
Um, this one I think I can just delete. What's going on here? These little things. Okay. All right. Other than that, I feel like everything else we can just deal with. All right. So we ungrouped everything. Let's move the red. All right. So the red. You can see this is 11 inches. So technically from this side we're good, but we need to remove some of these pieces because this is 15 inches. And so I ended up using 12 by 12 cardstock for this one. What you wanna do is you want to slice everything out so that it's each, each red piece is its own piece. So what you do is you take a square for instance, and let's make this bigger. Okay, so I'm going to slice out the lips, okay? So I'm gonna put the square covering the lips completely. Then I'm gonna grab these two items and slice. So now what I did was I sliced the lips away from the rest of the red. So now my red will consist of all that red stuff except for the lips. So you see the lips are gone. and you can get rid of the slice results. You don't need that. And here are the lips, okay? Now, this red piece, what I ended up doing, and we're still gonna slice everything out. So let's slice this red apart from the bow, okay? So let's grab these two items and slice. When you're slicing, you can only slice two items at a time. So I'm slicing the red image with the square. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of this. The slice results we can remove. And see how this is now? Now the red, you can cut all of this with 12 by 12 cardstock, right? But let's look at this red for a minute. Do you see how many pieces that is, right? So let me zoom in so I can show you what I did with my piece. What I did was I ended up, I'm gonna grab a circle. and I'm going to weld this together, okay? So I'm gonna um, unlock it. And I'm gonna make it like that, okay? Then, hold on, let me make this a little bit fatter. All right, I'm gonna do it like that, okay? I'm gonna duplicate my little oval and I'm gonna make this one a little bit smaller, okay? All right, so now I have my two ovals. I'm gonna grab both of them, align, center, and then I'm gonna slice it out. And <clears throat> what this does is it gives me a thin like ring, okay? Because I sliced out, let me show you what that looks like. So here's my ring that I want. I'm gonna remove these two things and I'm gonna delete this, okay? All right, so this ring, I'm gonna stick back in here, and you see how the ring kinda connects all my red pieces together, okay? So I'm gonna grab these two, and I'm gonna weld it. So instead of having like the 20 individual red pieces, I now have just one big circle which I want, okay? So let me um, zoom out for a second. What will happen is this will fit in here. The brown is gonna sit on top, so it's gonna give me the same look as before, but with fewer pieces. Uh, this ring of circle uh, of red pieces will make it so much easier for you. Um, I would probably slice out the individual apples as well because the apples can go inside this when you go to cut it or you can cut the lips on the inside like that, okay? All right, so that's my little trick for the red piece. I did the same thing for, what else did I do? I did it for this piece, I think. Okay, so let's pull this apart and see. So same thing with this right here. This I put, um, let's zoom in, because this piece over here, hold on. Oh my goodness, here we go. See, this piece is gonna sit on top of here so I can weld all these pieces together. So instead of having one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces, it's gonna be one piece. So I'm gonna zoom in so that we have a better look at this. But you wanna do this because you can see this project is, it's time consuming and there are a lot of pieces. And it's, you gotta cut it, right? So you gotta make sure that all nine pieces cut well because if one doesn't cut well, oops, I'm sorry, I went into the wrong thing. If one doesn't cut well, you gotta recut it, right? So you have to hope that it cuts well. Then you have to take it off the mat and hope that all the pieces come off the mat nicely. Because if it doesn't and you crinkle one or you rip one, you're back to the cutting stage, right? Then you gotta keep track of all these until you glue them down. So it's so easy to you know, misplace it. Um, oh my God, I hit images again. What I want is shapes. Sorry can't talk and design at the same time. All right, I remember I went and got a diamond because I felt like it fit that shape best. Um, come on, diamond, come on in. Okay, there's my diamond. Oops, two diamonds, okay. So I'm gonna rotate this a little bit and make it a little bit smaller but you see where I'm going with this. So that will help me connect some of these pieces. Now it looks like these two pieces aren't connected yet. So I will need to, you know, throw in another piece um, or I could do this one. Right, I can add that here, connect that. I still need one more piece down here to connect these two pieces, and then we're done. Okay, it doesn't have to be nice and neat because we know this piece is gonna sit on top of it. So now I'm gonna weld it. And what will happen is I'm gonna arrange and send this to the front, okay? So it will still look like, oops, did I not send it to the front? Send to the front. It will still look like before, right? But I don't have to deal with the nine pieces. Now, going to the teeth, I would do the same thing. I basically took a rectangle and um, you know, welded these three pieces together and then these three pieces together. So the teeth, I ended up, mm, I can't remember how many pieces I had, but it definitely was not 12 individual pieces, okay? <laughs> so let me show you how to do one set of teeth. So I would take a square and unlock it and make it really thin. I would do something like that, okay? Then weld it. And then once I weld all my teeth together, then I'm gonna slice it apart. I'm gonna slice the teeth from this webbing so that it can cut with the 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, okay? All right, so let's zoom out. So I'm showing you all the little pieces, right? Let's see, what do we have here? The hair. Um, the hair, what did I end up doing? Um, so the hair is in three pieces, so we'll just need to slice out three pieces, three the hair into three pieces, and then the eyes and stuff will be its own individual piece. So what we can do is we can just grab circles. And let's slice out this from the face. Okay, then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put the mouth there, okay? I'm gonna use the same piece, the black and the circle, I'm gonna slice out. The reason why I can do that is even though this, is, this would make it more than two pieces, my mouse didn't go and grab it. My mouse went from down here and only grabbed the lips 
I mean the black and the circle down here, it didn't grab this excess piece. So now look what you have. I'm gonna delete the excess, right? The slice results we don't need. So see the eyes are gone and the lips are gone. Okay, so that's by its own piece. And then soon we'll have just the three pieces. I'm gonna delete this. And for the black, I also use 12 by 24 cardstock. Now, if you were to use black glitter cardstock, you can slice it up and that with 12 by 12 cardstock, I've done that many, many times, you will not be able to see the seams and it'll look beautiful. And it's not in the face, so it won't be distracting, but you wouldn't even notice it. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this. All right, so with the hair, what we can do is because it's kind of close and kind of difficult to isolate these by slicing, I wanna break this up into three pieces, so I need three total copies of the image. So here's my second copy, I'm duplicating, and here's my third. And then I'm gonna go and use contour. With contour, I can delete the other two pieces that I don't want. So here, I'm gonna select that and that. So I'm left with the left piece. So here's the left piece. Um, so actually you can use 12 by 12 cardstock for this. Let's go to contour and let's just get rid of that piece and that piece. Because all these pieces, they say it's nine by 12, 12 point something. You can unlock it and you can turn it a little bit and I think yeah 11.45 by 11.3 you can cut this with 12 by 12 cardstock all right so the only thing left is we have the the upper part of the hair so on this one I'm gonna go over here and select these two items and leave just the top all right so the top is 13.6 by 5.5 5 inches if you put it diagonally it fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock so our black is good let's look at the Face. let's see what else do we have we have this which um yeah we're gonna need to slice this up maybe I forgot how I did it um oops sorry I keep kicking something um I would let's duplicate this piece actually three times Okay, let's get the little inside pieces out. So let's go to contour. And let's hide this one and this one. So we have this beautiful little thing right there. Then the next one, contour. So you see all we're doing is we're breaking down this piece, this image into pieces that we can cut on the Cricut. So either with 12 by 12 cardstock or 12 by 24 cardstock. Like I said, most of the time I do use 12 by 12 exclusively, but there were just some pieces, some colors that I really wanted to use for this piece. All right, so this is 19 inches by 17. If we slice it, I don't wanna slice it right in the middle because I feel like our eyes are drawn right to the middle of the page, but if we sliced it somewhere like right around here, we won't really notice that seam at all, especially using glitter cardstock. Um, so let's do that. Let's bring in a square. And I'm gonna move this. I, you know, since the new Cricut update, it's so weird how we can't use the canvas all the way over here. So let's make this square really big, okay? I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna just kinda like go diagonally because I don't wanna be in the middle I'm gonna do that, okay? So I'm gonna grab it from over here. I'm gonna grab the hair and the square and slice. So now we have two pieces of the hair. Oops, it didn't slice yet. So this piece is 13 by 17. I think if I twist it a little bit, it should that doesn't help me what in the world was I think okay there 11 by 17 so you can cut that on a 12 by 24 piece of cardstock right then you see how it moved over <laughs> all right let's get rid of this 
this piece will fit will cut fine six inches by 16 inches all right so that's done um what do we have left we have the brown we're almost done the brown and then the skin these pieces are all pieces that you can cut right five by nine if you wanted to you can slice these pieces apart so that you can make it more efficient on your cutting page and then the same thing with the eyes the eyes are all good okay all right so let's look at the face So the face, I'm going to duplicate it and separate the face from the collarbone area. So let's go to contour. I selected the collarbone area, so it's, it left just her face. So her face is 6 by 13. If you angle this, you see this can, oh, not yet. a little bit more oh a little bit more all right 10.7 by 11.3 that will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock so there is the face on this one let's get rid of the face on this one what is going on here okay all right let's go to contour and on this one let's get rid of hide all All right, this is 16.7 by 5.5. So that's gonna be a struggle. But if you remember, we have the banner and the banner covered some of her neckline. So the way I did it was something like this. So I just got rid of, I sliced off knowing that this part won't be shown at all. So I just sliced it off. Um, so just get a square, for instance. And I think I did something like this so that we could see more of the shoulder if we wanted to. Um, I'm gonna grab these two things and slice because the banner is gonna sit on top and cover that area anyway. So it doesn't matter if it's there or not. Let's see how big this piece is now. This piece is now a piece that we can cut on the Cricut. So we're fine there. So we don't even need to trim the other piece, okay? I'm gonna delete that. All right, so I feel like we're almost done. We just have the brown. And the brown, this top part, we don't need, but we need the bottom part. But again, we don't need this part right here, right? So here is where, let's go to uploads. I have an SVG file that you can get on my, through, um, you can find on my website, theuselesscrafter.com. And I like having this because we don't have to build our grid of squares. So if you save it as an image, then every time you need to slice a lot of pieces, you can just go and insert your image. And I need to remember what I saved it as. I would highly recommend saving it as like grid of squares, which hopefully is what I saved it as. Where is it? Here we go. So the reason why I have this SVG file is because when you go to slice things up, like the black background, which I'm gonna show you right now. It's really important that your squares are completely flush with each other so that you don't have any gaps and you don't have any overlays because that's gonna ruin, um, it will show the seams more and also make it more difficult for you to piece things together if they don't just go straight up and butt up next to each other, okay? So that's why it's important. All right, so let me move this out of the way. Let's do the black background first. So the easiest way to use my squares is you go and you put it near the object that you're gonna slice, okay? In your position feature, round to the nearest whole number. So mine is 3.76, I'm gonna round it up to four and I'm gonna round this down to 30. The reason why you want that is if you want to move your squares later, it will be easier for you to do it if everything is lined up perfectly on an X and Y coordinate, okay? Once you line it up, 
then you can ungroup it. Then scroll down to go get your block image. And it should be right there. <laughs> and arrange center to the front. Okay, and we're just gonna slice her up. So I would do something. And remember, this piece is not shown anywhere because all of the colors are gonna sit on top and this black should not be showing through at all. Okay, so let's slice this one square at a time. So you take this one square and the image and we're just gonna slice all the way around it, okay? It's taking a while. Sorry, I'm so thirsty right now. <laughs> all right, slice. I wonder if it's the flu shot. I got a flu shot and a TB shot today the TB test. I don't know if it's making me super thirsty or what. Um, these three over here, we're not using it right now, but I'll use it for the brown. So I'm just gonna move it over here for now. All right, let's continue slicing up our black background. And we're almost done. Um, you kind of get the gist. It's like breaking it down by color into pieces that we can cut on the Cricut is what we're doing. And then once you cut all these pieces, it'll be like a puzzle. We'll put it all back together and um, you'll have like a very big piece that you wouldn't think that you could do on the Cricut. All right, so now I'm just gonna move that and I do like to keep my pieces somewhat like in the order that it comes in because then it's easier for me to figure it out later <laughs> when I'm looking at my cut pieces. Okay, here we go. All right, so now let's look at our brown piece. Our brown piece, we can slice this top part um, from this and I will just use this square right here. Make it bigger so that it fits my whole piece up here grab these two items and slice. I know this thing is so messy, right? But I'm gonna show you, it's right around my desk. So at the end, I will show you what she looks like in case you haven't seen her. She's absolutely stunning. Okay, so here's our brown piece. This piece can cut, right? 11.4 by 3.5, we're good. This piece, let's slice it up like maybe right there okay so we'll slice here and then we'll slice here and on this brown piece, I ended up using 12 by 24 cardstock, I believe. So what we have left, yeah, this piece can now cut. This piece, I don't know what happened here. Okay, that's a glitch in the system. It should have given us a piece like this, right? So what you wanna do when that happens is you wanna undo it and then re-slice it. So we know that that's an issue. All right, so let's get rid of that though. Pretend that it worked. Um, then we're done. All you need to do is go and cut these pieces and let me show you what it looks like. I promise you it's worth the effort. Give me one second. Look at how beautiful she is. And she's big, right? Cause look at how big she is compared to me. Everything about this is just like, ah, love it, love it, love it. Okay. So anyway, comments, questions, please let me know. Let me know if you wanna see something specific. I will see you guys next time. Thank you.